All right, so it turns out that in addition to being uh, branched, alkanes can also form cyclic structures, whereas um, the carbons sort of form a circle or a different shape uh, where they come back and meet on each other. So the first, the smallest cycloalkane, and that's what they're called, that can occur is um, with three carbons. So instead of uh, three carbons being in a straight chain, they actually form a triangle like this. And um, each of those carbons still needs two hydrogens, and so they're each bonded to two hydrogens to get four bonds, always four bonds to carbon. And we could even draw the skeletal form uh, formula for this, or the skeletal structure, and it looks like a triangle. And of course we can go to uh, four, which will be uh, four carbons connected to each other. And we name these by just using the uh, cyclo prefix for whatever alkane they are. So these are cyclo uh, pentane, and then of course cyclo butane. And it turns out that um, when carbons are sort of pushed together uh, together like this, there actually creates um, uh, a little bit of instability. So cyclopentane and cyclobutane are really reactive, and you don't see those very often. But once you get past the four carbons, uh, they become much more uh, stable, and you see them pop up in terms of organic chemistry and even eventually biological chemistry, biological molecules. So a five uh, carbon ring would look like this, and of course that would be cyclopentane. And there are five carbon ring structures um, all around, uh, very useful and very common. And then of course we can even go up to higher ones, but we'll stop talking at uh, cyclohexane. Cyclohexane is a very common organic solvent used to dissolve nonpolar uh, substances because it's a nonpolar solvent. Okay, um, so that's uh, cycloalkanes, and of course we could um, start introducing double bonds into this scenario, uh, and even triple bonds, although double bonds are much more prevalent for cyclic structures. A very important uh, cyclic structure with double bonds is benzene, and that sets up a new category of hydrocarbons, which are known as aromatic uh, carbon hydrocarbons. Okay, benzene is a six uh, carbon cyclic structure, six carbons uh, connected in a cyclic uh, structure. with alternating bonds, alternating double bonds. Okay, and so what this would look like is, okay, we've got carbon, six carbons in a ring, and they've got alternating double bonds, so every other carbon has a double bond or there's a double bond to every other bond. And so we know that each carbon has four bonds, so every carbon is also connected to one hydrogen. Like so. And so the formula for benzene is C6H6. Of course we could draw the skeletal uh, form of this uh, structure, and it would look like this. First we would draw the, the ring structure, and then we would put double bonds. Every other bond is a double bond. It turns out that these double bonds resonate or move around this hydrocarbon to create what is known as an aromatic ring. And so it goes back and forth between these two structures. Where the double bond, this double bond moved up here, this one moved down here. And last, the one moved over here. This happens all the time. And so uh, other ways we can write this resonance structure is that we can draw dotted lines between 
um, the carbons to show that the double bond is constantly moving around. Alright, and then we can even write it a little more simply as a circle in between that hexagon. And so that is the structural form, the skeletal formula for benzene. C6H6 with alternating double bonds that are constantly moving. And so that's how we typically draw benzene. Now, when benzene is connected to any other carbon, what we call it is an aromatic ring. Okay, and so if we were to draw this molecule, got a benzene, and then off of this, instead of being connected to a hydrogen, it's connected to a, what would be that, one, two, three, a propyl group. Uh, this would be an aromatic ring on this hydrocarbon. So essentially when we start talking about functional groups, aromatic rings are a functional group unto themselves. So anytime you see this hexagonal structure with a circle in the middle, really what they're trying to show is it's a benzene, and if it's on a molecule, we call it an aromatic ring.